it's not only uh, in the air, as you just said, it's also already definitely on the ground because here comes the new Chicago Stadium right across Madison Street from the old one. It'll be finished in two years, at which time we'll have to tear the old one down after 63 years. Next to the Boston Gardens, it's the oldest stadium in the country. Joe Lewis used to fight here. Franklin D. Roosevelt used to be nominated here. He and his candidate for vice president, Harry Truman, for example, during the Second World War. And I expect to continue the effort to help shorten the war and win the peace. And like a thousand children after the war, I used to try to slip through these doors and around the ushers to watch the Blackhawks for free. What a place in here. It always feels intense inside, even when it's empty. It's so old and there are so many echoes. When it's full, it's so crowded. Every seat in the house for every Bulls game in the past half dozen years has been sold out. Even number eight in row U of section G where you have to sit in one neighbor's lap to see half the court and in the other neighbor's lap to see the other half. There's no way you can see the whole court at once. This is the worst seat in a house that has mostly great ones. You get up in the balcony and excuse the double negative, but there's nothing you can't see or hear except the guy who's maintained it for 20 years. He's John Fett, as much of a legend as the stadium itself. For some reason, he just won't talk to anybody. Mr. Fett, can I just ask you a couple of questions? You ain't gonna get no answer. Why? Imagine what Mr. Fett could talk about, the way Rocky Marciano took care of Josie Joe Walcott, and how Sonia Henney twirled away an evening on the stadium ice. In 1932, the Chicago Bears played for an NFL championship in the stadium mud. Even before Mr. Fett, the stadium was incredibly versatile. One day it's wood, the next day it's ice. And they say in 63 years under the Blackhawks, the stadium rink has never melted once. Fett wouldn't allow it to melt, like he won't even allow it to get dirty. It may be old, but it's spick and span. It's wonderful the way they keep it up. And safe, too nosy around it for a while and you'd worry that it's ready to fall down. It's like nosing around an antique. Underneath and in the locker rooms, it's fabulous. Two dozen players, big guys too, and three sinks. Michael Jordan says sometimes hot water doesn't even work. We may miss the old one, but they sure do need a new one. No elevators in the stadium, so the thousands of kegs of beer have to be carried one by one up the stairs as steep as mountains. You know, some kids have fantasies about being in jet fighter planes or in uh, rocket ships. Mine has always been the great pipe organ at Chicago Stadium. After 45 years, look, I finally made it. It was built in here with the building in 1929, the biggest organ in the world. It would cost $11 million to move it because of the way it's built in. Therefore, it will go down with the stadium, which it may as well because it just wouldn't be what it is anywhere else. None of this would be what it is anywhere else. The black and red, the colors of the Bulls and the Hawks, even on the trash cans. And the old press box for reporters hanging over the mezzanine like that, only at the Chicago Stadium. All the onlys. Once they're gone, they're gone. That'll be it. Forever. <laughs> it's like the old Comiskey three miles over there. It had to go, too, because that's progress. But before we get into how terrific the new one will be, I say, uh, let's say thanks to the time it'll take to finish it, because for two more years, we'll still get to use the old one. Corey? Hey, Walter, did you really try to sneak in the stadium, and, and were you ever successful? I wasn't quite sure I should have told you that, <laughs> but uh, yes, the truth is I did, and you want to know, I did get in. <laughs> at least, kind of a sneaky at guy. At least once. All right. Well, that's good. I was, I was a little guy back then, you know, Corey. We let him off the hook, Michael? What do you think? Yeah, I believe we let him off the hook. Hey, I got to ask you.